Here's two old phones that I've got here. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what the dates are on these things, but I would say late 40s, early 50s on that one, and this one probably too. This is actually a um, Western Electric Bell System Western Electric phone. There's no date or anything on the bottom of it. There's this 855A. That may be the model number, but I don't think it's like a date stamping or anything like that. Then we got this phone here, which has no date on it at all. I mean, uh, manufacturer or date. It's not marked at all. The only thing I could find on it was that little stamping there. I have no idea what it means. It looks like somebody actually painted it. As far as I know, they all work. This one has a ringer in it. This one actually doesn't. It doesn't even have a bell in it. So. But this one has a bell in it. And that's, I think that's the reason why this one weighs a little less. Because it has no bells in it. But, um, I don't know if I can pick up anything. I don't know. But this thing does actually dial out, but it doesn't play it loud enough uh, if I called something to play it over the phone, over the camera, because it's, the volume's not very loud, and of course it's an old phone, you can't adjust the volume on it. And here's another old phone that uh, I actually saved from the trash when I lived uh, up in North Dakota. It still has its phone number tag on here, the 701 area code. And uh, this is an old Bell System Western Electric phone. Um, and um, this one's pretty cool because you can usually tell these style phones, they made these for years. They, they made these throughout the 70s, or through to the 70s, from the early 50s to the uh, middle 70s, I would say. Maybe late 70s, probably more mid 70s. But you can always tell the older ones because this one has a metal dial on it. Most of the ones with the plastic dials are from the 70s. But this one here is dated 1 of 53. And it was resold sometime in... 83 um, but the original build date is one of 53 it's a old 500 model and uh, it does have a pretty decent ringer on it but I actually saved this one from the trash somebody had thrown it away at a thrift shop so got in a habit up there <clears throat> to find old stuff, just check the dumpsters after they close, and uh, ended up with one of with this uh, one of many older things that I was able to find. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that it does work. I don't think you're going to be able to hear much. I don't know if you can hear that dial tone or not. Let's see if we can make a call on it. I'll put the put the camera down. See if I can hold it up to the microphone.
and temperature at 42 degrees. Cloudy tonight, chance of rain and drizzle. A low around 42. Monday, cloudy chance of rain. A high 55. Here's a Western Electric 2500 in yellow. Um, I'm not exactly sure when this was made, but it is probably from the early 80s. Um, I think pretty much all of them had the uh, detachable cord and the detachable cord on the rear. But um, anyway, this one. I think this one might, might have came from Texas. I'm not real sure. 713, I think that's Texas. But uh, I still got its, its uh, phone tag on it. And um, I remember these from the, uh, from I don't know if, this is probably dating me a little bit, but uh, I remember these from the Domino's commercials. Domino's pizza commercials from the 80s. Theirs was red, but anyway. Um, it still works. It works pretty good. Uh, let me uh, see if I can't make a call on it here and um, put the camera down and let you uh, hear it working. That's my uh, collection of the phones. I do have a trim line that uh, I can't locate right now that has push buttons on it. Probably a pretty good match for this one here. I think it's a sort of a uh, ivory color, I guess you would say antique white or whatever like that. But uh, anyway, I can't locate it. But this is this is what I've got. Appreciate you watching.